Hey guys, it's Great Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes three and four of Magical Girl Little Hut. <laughs> Magical Girl Lyrical from Nanaha Strikers. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three in three, two, one, go. Now I wonder if this next episode is going to focus on these two right here. They're military babies. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how y'all were, were able to find a dust that's small for her. You know what I thought they would have did for, um, hold on.
Okay, so as I was saying, I thought what they would have done for Nana Mizuki regarding Fate's voice, like, make her go a little deeper, not like Su, um, Subasa, so a voice for Sinful Gear, but like a, a little bit of a mix of On versus Subasa, like just still where it is cutesy, but still light at the same time. You kind of get that with that, with, with Fate in this show for older Fate. But sometimes, like, when you're watching the movies, like, all I heard was straight up Spasso. Or on. Yeah. Or what's her face from, um, <laughs> the one show I watched. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, my light changed. There you go. <laughs> and it did it again. Oh my god, light. Oh my god. Just want to immediately go into the big leagues, huh? Light? 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 Why would you do this? You were fine when we were recording the other show. Why would you be mean now? If it changes again. Now you're just being stupid. Okay, fine, fine. You know what? You'll win. You'll win, like, we recorded like this for the next hour. Here they come. You know why I also thought was going to show up in this? Um, what is his name? The one who had a raising heart before Nadoha. He hasn't shown up, but that doesn't mean he might not show up later on, though. Mm hmm.
Of course. I'm recording! minutes oh, okay well that should be enough time for them Of course. But those are the same drones that you're using, the Nano that you're using on the training montage. But why also use those? So then it almost looks like Nanoha is the bad guy. So where are we going with this? Jesus. And that's not even going to do anything. Mm, yeah. Force field. I mean, Jesus. That's a field, doll.
Well, that's one down. Yeah, but I think at the same time, you know, later on, these four little things right here and every other data that you recorded on the rest of them, they're going to be used against you. Why do I feel like this is gonna backfire though? Uh, I mean, never mind, never mind, never mind, why not? Never mind. Never mind! Oh! Behind you. Nice, say what it. Here. <laughs> The one that is trying to scare. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. <laughs> he was trying. He was like, oh, stop. No. Give me hope though, right? But that took a lot out of her. Oh my god, just all oh, this family. I've missed them so much. And just seeing them all together. Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. 
It's so cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Well, that's good. For now, for now, because I feel like we're gonna have problems. Yeah, but I feel like somebody is gonna be against y'all. Because as of now, everything just seems a little too easy, in my opinion, but. I digress. We'll see. They did really good today, though. But like, did no one want to offer me something to eat? <laughs> well, you know, I am hungry. <laughs> I'll just freaking like just speaking darker that that I actually am. Oh my God, right? Hold on. There we go. A little bit better. Do not switch. Wives. Again. Wives. <laughs> they sleep in the same room, same bed together. Girlfriends. Girlfriends. Wives. Freaking lights work with me. Whatever. What, what? Do what you want to do. I'm going to fix you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Going on with this episode. It's probably because it's act just acting up. I don't know why. It, it just decides now to act up. Okay. The cute non and fate moments were so freaking adorable. The training was very interesting to see. Es essentially, last week, we saw just, you know, Subaru... And Tia working together, and you could already tell that they were very, like, uh, much a team. That they worked well together and such. And seeing the other two come in, especially after how last week ended, and seeing their introduction, I was a little skeptical on them. I was a little like, how are these two kids gonna work? with two teenagers who are practically almost similar to adults and stuff. Sometimes that can work and then sometimes that can't work. Um, but after watching this episode, my answer was clear. It does work. It really, like the team of four with these four and how they all are vastly different age ranges, it really works well with them. I think, you know, we might see some moments where they do get into arguments and stuff, but... They'll only do that because they love each other. That's it at the end of the day. But yeah, I thought it was a very sweet, adorable episode. Thank you for the Nanoha and Fate moment. <laughs> My freaking wives. Like, yes, babies. But yes, literally talking about the freaking machines during the training montage. And learning about kind of the truth about that. That they're also used for evil and such. So is there a traitor? Among everyone. Oh, they get their oh yeah. Oh, so glad that's cute. Oh my God, let me go cry. <laughs> but yeah, does it kind of indicate that someone is a traitor among this group? And it's like, okay, whoever it is, the question is why. I mean. And it has to be someone we've known for either a long time who wants to get maybe revenge on someone or 
it's someone we have not officially I should not be sleepy oh my god um someone we haven't officially met yet that maybe has you know a connection to our previous villains maybe even fate's mom um or the villains from movie two or movie three um like a connection with them because because see my biggest thing was especially literally looking back at movie not movie one more movie two and movie three will those characters also be mentioned in this show and such because those are essentially canon to this so my big like yes we have you know Hayate and you know her family they're essentially in this but now I'm looking at like um everyone else from movie three and such um they're gonna pop up I mean but no didn't they die yeah I don't freaking remember. I'm I'm so busy that I barely remember shit. But yeah, they should also still anything that happened previously when these three were kids slash teenagers up to where they are now as still young women going into you know their early young adult age because they're almost in, all three of them are almost in their twenties. I think they're all nineteen, um, and such. So things have to be mentioned from the movies and stuff because. It is canon. So, yeah, I mean, I would like to see that in the next couple episodes. But, yeah, I thought this was a very interesting, different episode. Like I said, training montage, top tier. Um, I do honestly cannot wait until Vita also joins into the mix in her training montage. Because, of course, she right now kind of feels a type of, some type of way where, of course, she has, she feels weak. And that... Mm, what I would like to say the kind of how did I say it was centering like almost in your head about protecting Nanoha. Nanoha is literally the important one regardless. She's like the Sailor Moon of the series or like Madoka and Madoka Magica or every pink pretty cure in series of pretty cure and such or even Sifo okay, that would be Hibiki. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the important one, regardless and such. Um, so no matter what, you have to protect her. And I, I get the fact that Vita is like, I feel some type of way about this, that I'm not strong enough, and da da da. Like she's light, I swear to God, that is now too bright. Come come down. Just no. Oh my god, I'm about to freaking Do you wanna fuck it? I'll turn it off. No. No. Go to like 80. 90 you go to something you just you want to act up today there we go stay right there um she just feels some type of way and i feel like this is going to be her journey that we're going to see for her to eventually you know like kind of somewhat be herself again but she's struggling with something you really can truly see that and so i hope that she's able to cope with it in her own way but that could be by talking to her, you know, Hayate and everyone else, even Nanoha herself or even Faye. But, you know, we have to see the rest of the series. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one, go. BTW, I am having a snack, so <laughs> just if you hear crunch, <laughs> I'm eating... <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Fire roasted onions. I don't want to give y'all an ASMR, but I feel like some of y'all would secretly like it. So please, you know, hi if you're hungry, go get something. <laughs>
And I'm like, when is she going to show up? <laughs> oh, it's only really been two weeks. Oh. <clears throat> so cute. Oh, my God. Of course, she's going to pop up because she's in the opening as well. But she might not let until like what later on. Get their weapons today. Well, you know. <clears throat> I almost choked. Oh, my God. Ma'am, five minutes straight. Jesus. Y'all really confident y'all can beat her in two minutes. Don't be so cocky. Damn. I like the fact that these two think that Nona uh, is not watching, but she got eyes in the back of her head.
So good job. But I feel like now we're going to see them go out in the real field and do some real is where danger is bound to happen. Well, yeah. Like your true devices. Of course, fate and <laughs> how It's been going good, but you know, we got a little problem right now. Aww. And now we're having a family date. That's so cute. Okay, one other thing I didn't say in the previous episode, but I'm going to say now. I am loving the fate Hayate moments. Like, it, it's really sweet and also shows how far they come. Because, like, at first, I didn't think, even as someone who was re was rewatching the movies and such, and even when I watched the show for the first time, I didn't think they were going to mesh together. I was like, yeah, you know, because fate is fate. But, you know, fate still also likes to see the good in people, you know. What they have to hear that's a mean. A shower 
But you can stop with your hand motion. Yes, we are in the future. I need that. Put that for my future house, yes. Well, dang, I thought Faint would have been with her, too. Well, yeah, but Faint just, uh, she would be back for lunch. So, of course, regardless, she wasn't going to kind of stay. So now whoever's our big bad is not only messing with the machines and now the relic. What else is going to pop up now? Mm hmm <laughs> Broken in threes, damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it'll also enhance the best of your abilities. <clears throat> hmm? But they will be your very best partners and friends.
So should we test them out? Which is what you want. So that would be the same for fate. Hmm. Yeah, and which also means you can't be the OP of OPs. Yeah. Don't fret. It's all about you guys. And that also means all four of you are going to get a really nice gorgeous transformation that we're probably going to see in the next episode. You know what? Honestly, fate is she's doing the speed limit, but she's also going five over. She's like, yes, I'm going to have dinner. I mean, <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Lunch with my wife <laughs> and my kids. Cute. Oh. Well, playtime is now over. About to go into the big leaves for our four babies.
and everything should go fine. So nervous. And of course, we ain't gonna see that until next week. Ah, uh, like, come on, man. I want to see <laughs> so bad, but guys. Literally, after getting their new devices, they're on words to their first new mission. Like, they're f babies. Babies are growing up. But I am nervous for all four of them. I mean, especially Kato, because, you know, I mean, little kids. That's the biggest, scariest thing is, you know, for little kids to go into something as dangerous as this. Of course you're going to be nervous. I'd be hella scared if it was me. But... She's around friends who considerably in her way that she considers her, her family, her second home away from home. So everything will be okay if they stick together. And then also, if it does get dangerous, as Nano has said, you listen to her, Fate, or Hayate. So everything should, should just go fine. Maybe. But the fact is, once again, that, you know, we found another another freaking relic. So many years later is popping up. Also using the machines that we talked about in the previous episode. Also in this next episode, this is to come out next week that I'm going to watch on Friday. Um, Like I said, I feel like we have a traitor among us. Possibly. But I could be wrong about that. But yeah, like it's just something as of right now isn't adding up. And of course, this is only episode four. We have a long way to go before our journey is over. So who knows what the heck is going to go right or wrong next. But big hope, big dear prayers, I cannot speak, um, that the mission is successful. You want these four to have a win. But it is scary. It is a lot of pressure on these four. This is their first big mission. But I think they'll do good. And of course, Kato, she's gonna have a moment where like, cause she's, you can see that it was happening at the end of the episode, but it's going to continue into the next episode where she's going to be a little hesitant and such. And so she might, like right now she's kind of in her head. She's just scared. And anyone has the right to be scared in this moment. But this, this is almost like, it's not really a life or death situation, but still somebody can get hurt or even worse. So yeah, I, I mean, she's like, you know, hey, first big mission, very nervous, super scared. I don't know what's going to happen. But like I said, she she's with her teammates. So I think she will be fine. But who who really freaking knows? But like I said, if anything happens, you got Fate, Hayate, and Anoha there, aka the mommies of the show, um, to help them. That's why they're there. And that's why they're always going to be there. They are like the, the safety net for these four. If anything happened to them and such, one of those three will just go in guns blazing, you know, even with whatever they're doing at the time that the four are doing whatever they're doing. If one of them gets hurt, let's say like Tia or Subaru, Nanaha is going to go in. And, and same thing for fate for either one of the two younger kids, because of the fact is that they're a family regardless. So if one of them gets hurt, they all get hurt and such. So yeah. I just want to say what I think about that. But yes, we pray next week or on Friday when I watch the next two episodes that the mission is successful, that no one gets hurt, that Kato is able to, you know, face her fear and that she does well, that everyone else does well, that it's just successful. I do have one question. Um, Hayate's friend. 
And I'm guessing because Hayate's friend lives in a certain place. It was very interesting to see it for like a little mid-second and such. Um, so why did Hayate have to wear, like, disguise herself? Like, did somebody answer that question for me, possibly? Because that was a little confused on that. I mean, I don't think Hayate is wanted there, but did she do something? Or is that just to, um, hide certain women due to something? So yeah. That's an unanswered question. Yeah, but the episode was good. Very, very brilliant. Honestly, cannot wait to see the next two on Friday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha Strikers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else. Also, next Monday and Friday for myself because those are the other days that I'll be recording the next two episodes. Um... But I will see you guys all officially next time for episodes 5 and 6. Bye, guys.